Hello, everybody. I got a new thing that you guys can't see. Microphone. I have a new microphone. Um. So. The Ampla Game A6T. Um, the current one that I have, I do not know the model of, but it is a Fifine something. This one, I believe, is also. I can't remember. Jeez, the camera is having a hard time focusing on anything. Um, but let's get right into it. So, you've got the, um, you've got all of the camera stuff, er, camera, that's the camera. This is a microphone. Um, so you've got the microphone itself. Of course, it, on the bottom, it has a dial for volume. I believe, uh, turning it to the right makes it louder as depicted by the, this symbol here. Autofocus is having a hard time. And then twist it to the left to make it quieter. Um, um, second thing here is the um, kind of cover thing, so you don't spit all over it. It looks like it has a little smiley face on it. Um, you've got cabling. Of course, everything comes with cabling. Then you've got the... Um, Crap, what is this thing called? It says it right here on the guide. C-clamp. It's the C-clamp. Jeez, I already ripped the manual. Oh, golly. Um. So, underneath of this, you get a, um, a boom arm. What this little section here is for, I do not know. I guess it's for grabbing. But, um, yeah, so, let's get this thing set up. You know I had to. Okay. I'm guessing that thing away. Assume it is. We don't need the styrofoam. Okay, so, we're going to need the, um, C-clamp in tandem with the boom arm. C-clamp goes onto the side of the desk, as depicted in the manual. Um, speaking of the manual, we do not want to do this without the manual. Manual is very helpful. Manual is my lord and savior. Um, so, What's in the box? Oh, right. Uh, this thing is called a pop filter. Yeah, this thing is the pop filter. So you don't spit all over your mic. Um, the If the RGB is on, yes, this thing is RGB, and it is white to fit with my desk and my PC. Which everything is white. Um... Jeez, this thing is having a hard time focusing on anything. This is why I like manual autofocus. I move any amount. Um, Alright, so... I believe the... Uh, C-clamp is going to attach onto this. Where is it? That's why we have a manual. No, other side. So what you want to do is uh, pull this thing around, twist it for the C-clamp. You want to do it until it's about the width of your desk. Then um, what you're going to want to do is uh, just a little bit more.
go and twist it in the opposite direction. Then, T-clamp is firm in place. I'm actually going to move this a bit more. Might get in the way of water glass placement. We can fix that later. So, uh, then you've got a little knob here. This microphone's currently in the way. So, uh, what you have here is a um, knob for... Ooh! Whoops. So, you've got... This thing is your knob. It fell out. <laughs> it's basically for... Um, inserting this in so that it is perfectly clamped. Now, tighten the knob until this thing will not budge. Now, tighten it further. Now, you can basically move this thing around all you want. It's not going to come out. Um, so, what do you do from here? That's what we're trying to figure out. Um, so, let's pull this closer. Um, on the top here, there is a gold thing. Um, oh, this thing's supposed to go straight. All right. Uh, just so you know, this is made in China. Okay. So, you're going to want to turn this thing so that it faces down. And then, uh, put this on and I believe twist it. Lean it out so that it is easier. Now once it is tightened, that is nice. Face it towards you. I believe. Then what you're going to want to do is stick your pop filter onto um I believe there are slots here. What? Oh, no. There are things right on the edge, or in between. There are, no. In this specific spot right here, there's a clamp for your pop filter. Slide it down, and then your pop filter will be snug. Make sure to face this in your direction. So, now, you've got your pop filter. Your mic should look something like this. I don't know what the optimal distance from your mouth should be. I still think this is a little too close. I am going to do some future adjusting. I am talking as if this is the microphone that I'm talking into. I'm still talking into this microphone. That microphone. Um, I think we're done. Jeez. That was easy setup. Now... You got some cable with your microphone. What you're going to want to do is open up this cable. Take off the covers. For some reason, this one doesn't, this end doesn't have a cover. Um, oh, shucks, it's USB 2. Now, what you're going to want to do is plug this into your microphone. Right? Crap. Oh, onto the back of the microphone. There's a USB-C port. Stick that in. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the back of your computer. And uh, plug it in. So... It's another time where you will not be able to actually screw it. You get to see what goes on behind. Sort of. Oh no, it's not that great of an angle. You'll, um... Screw it.
We run off a secondary monitor. Okay, never mind. This thing's gonna yank. Uh, this is see the little jaggy. Okay, so what you do is uh, grab your cable, and what you're going to want to do is stick it in one of your USB slots. Where you can never get it right the first time you try. So now. Your uh, thing's not lighting up. What do you do? So we have the microphone plugged in. Now. It should be around seven inches, so I say. What it currently is from my face is a perfect distance. Now, it may be directly in the way of my black. In my li um, line of sight, but we will figure it out. You tap, you uh, press the button on the top of the microphone to mute and unmute. I believe you tap it. I'm not sure you really push into it. So this is plugged in. Maybe there are too many USB inputs. I just want to test. It is not going through that mic. Okay, maybe there are too many USB inputs. Let me just check something. Unplug a couple of things. Maybe it might magically start lighting up. Uh, this. What is this? That right there was my That right there was my microphone cable. Um I just want to see. Uh is it in my settings right now? So this thing is in my way. I don't need it anymore. Neither do I need or nor do I need this. So we shall throw it onto the bed. She flies. Okay, so now there's a huge cable in my way. Now, what do I want to do? I want to go into my mic slash auxiliary settings. And then, properties. There are no other microphones. This is not good. Maybe it's plugged into the wrong socket. It turns on just like magic. Now, this thing should be seven inches away from your face, and, uh, Turn up as much as you want. Now, we are setting up a device. Five fine microphone. Congrats. Now. Testing, testing. This is what the new microphone sounds like. I am not currently listening to it. I will need to listen to it back in the recording to see what it sounds like. Now, there are many different settings that you can use. You can... At the top of the microphone to turn the RGB off and also turn the microphone off. As you can see, if you turn the microphone off, you no longer receive input. So, we can now move this off to the side. And congratulations, you have set up your new um, Fifine Ampli Game uh, A6T User's Guide. You set up the user's guide. Jeez. Okay, so you've got your new microphone. I've got I've got my new microphone, and um, yeah, I just want to see what it uh, what it sounds like. Now, I um am going to alter the location of this thing. I do prefer it over, um. 
what my mic, what my old mic actually sounded like. I am going to twist this. Now I'm going to hold the top of this so that this thing does not come tumbling down. I am going to um, remove the C-clamp and move the microphone a couple of inches away. Make sure the C-clamp is tight. Move the microphone to a more comfortable spot. And now, it, I no longer have anything in the way of my arms. It's now in the way of my hands. As I've got a huge cable going right, or running, running right over my, um... I have a huge cable running directly over my keyboard. What do I do against, uh, what do I do for that? That's something for me to figure out. Now... I do like how the microphone sounds, and I probably will be using it from now on. This uh, will take some getting used to, of course, because, well, it's just going off of my desk. I can no longer stick my arms in that area, but also I no longer have to deal with a microphone on my desk that can fall over. This thing can't really fall over. I have to push it away, pull it back, adjust the volume on it, set it very very loud. I can, um, I can basically customize it more than, uh, that microphone right there. The, uh, if I find microphone that you can see right at the bottom. Don't mind my skittles. So, new microphone. Bueno. I like it. Next thing I get, new camera. Focus on me. I hate this thing. It's so janky. Like, move the mic away. It can't focus. It can't, it can't, it can't focus. Now, these, um, these are issues that, um, will probably be solved if, uh, with better autofocus. I shall turn auto off and it just works. But, yeah. So, that's a non-microphone thing. Microphone is good. I like it. Solid. Uh, I'd say in half out of ten. It's not really like ASMR microphones. Like, I can't really... Or at least I haven't tried listening to it while I go right up to the speaker. Maybe even around. Um. But, hey... It's, it's good. I mean, people might not notice it immediately, or people might notice it. It may be a huge difference, but hey. It's, um... How many times have I used hey? A lot. In the... Um... In the past couple of seconds. This is a podcast microphone, so... It's supposed to be good. Um... For streaming, podcasting, and video recording. So... That is how you set up your A6T USB microphone, uh, USB gaming microphone kit from Fifine Ampligame. There you go. You got your RGB microphone set up. Are you happy now? You don't even need the manual. I needed the manual. You just had this video. But hey, maybe you just seek entertainment. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I uh, hope you enjoy the sound of the new mic over the next many videos. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.